Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. This is Sim Stories and in today's video I wanted to show you some of the mods that I believe are really good if you want to have a realistic gameplay in The Sims 4. I absolutely love these mods, I pretty much use them all the time in my game and if you're interested in downloading any of them, I'll have the links to them down below in the description box. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and explore some of these mods. So for today's video, we're gonna have Irina Webster showcasing these mods. We are currently in her house. So as you can see, Irina was writing in her journal and I'm just gonna show you how cute it is. So you know Sims can write in journals in the game anyway but this one is an override for the journal it's a five minute journal just like the one in real life that all the it girls on tiktok had and it's made by discombobulated and honestly it just is so cute like your sim can not only just write entries in your journal but you can actually work on your emotional skills here so for example you can write nice things about friends and family write mean things about someone write gossip about others sort out feelings from today relive memories complain about teachers in school i guess that's for like high school year complain about everyone and everything you can hide the journal but i think you can do it with a normal journal as well you can write about wants and fears goals and hopes a positive summary of the day or a negative summary of the day so it's just a cute little addition to your game if you want to incorporate that clean girl aesthetic and have you know your sim reflect on their days and just have something cute to lay on the table i just think it's really nice and you can also put it in your inventory as well moving on from that i wanted to show you some of the things that i use in the kitchen that add to a realistic gameplay in the sims 4 so the first one is the kitchen cookbook by somic and severinka and basically what it does it creates so many new recipes that you can use in your game you can download them in bulk or you can download them separately if there are any particular ones that you want in your game but i think it's just an amazing addition and it makes the game so much more realistic when you have cookbooks that you can use and more recipes that you can incorporate into your game so if you press on it you're gonna have an option to cook and then you have different categories that you can choose from so let, let's look at breakfast and dessert like you have avocado and toast with eggs, avocado toast with salmon, baked avocado with eggs, boiled eggs, and like so many more options. And that's just for breakfast. So why don't we ask Irina to make us avocado on toast with eggs and see how it's going to look like. We're going to make a family size. So while Irina is cooking that for us, I'm going to show you a bit more from this cookbook. So let's look at the drinks you can make. You can make cherry punch, cranberry punch, mulled wine, and strawberry punch. Then if we look at baking, because Irina is not really high in cooking or baking skills, I obviously cannot uh, make these unless I cheat them on. But you can see like some of the options that you can have. Like there's so many. Honestly, it's just like, such an amazing one. I cannot express that enough. Like you can make tarts, baklava, like wedding cakes, fruit cakes. It's just so awesome. Then for lunch and dinner, we have asparagus and broccoli, baked chicken with potatoes. Like, just look at this. It's all like, some of them are so bougie as well. Like, I've never heard of them. But they're just so, like, you can have the rolls, like sushi, stuffed peppers, steaks. Oh, I just love this so much. Not only that, but you can also buy stuff, right? From clicking on this cookbook so you can buy alcohol a bottle of like champagne bento cakes other products box of sweets fruit and veggies like it's just so cute like look you can have a beer a mojito sex on the beach spritz tequila sombrero like <laughs> this is so useful in your game honestly like you will be using it all the time because like i do it also has Okay, I think Irina is really struggling out here to make those avocados and eggs. Okay, it's ready. Let's look at it. Like, oh my god. Look. It's a bit of an alpha swatch, so um, it's very textured, very high resolution. But it looks so good. Why don't you grab a serving of it? And we're gonna look how a single serving looks like. Oh, it looks delicious. Like, look at that so amazing i couldn't i honestly couldn't recommend this mod enough this cookbook also comes in different swatches so as you can see you can have like a cookbook separately and you can have a stand for it as well with like a little cute pen 
so for the stands we have like different colors you can have it in wood color actually i think this one looks better for me <laughs> or you can have it like plain or with some i don't know what's it called um details on here and then for the cookbook itself you also have different cute swatches that you can use to look nice on your tabletop Oh, that sounds that one, this one's cute <laughs> now the second cookbook i wanted to show you is by brazen lotus pretty much the same idea you can have different recipes that you can download and incorporate into the game but recipes differ from Sonic and severinka's one so that's why i have like two different ones and i alternate depending on the recipe i want to make this cookbook also adds different categories and some of them are like weather based so not weather season based so you have summer recipes so it's like the recipes you can make in the summer and then there's winter autumn and so on i think it's so cool because like sometimes you just want to i don't know it just adds such a nice realistic detail to it because you can imagine yourself like being in the kitchen and be like oh like it's summertime let me see what summer recipes i can make today for me and my family or just for myself whatever you know i don't know i just like to play it that way so we have some salad superfood salad watermelon caesar salad caprese chips and salsa so cute okay so i cheated her cooking skills so we can look at all the recipes that are there so for appetizers i ha i don't have everything downloaded from brazen lotus but some of them i will show you so we have sh shrimp po boy <laughs> the sandwich has a long history in louisiana dating back to 1920s when it was created like all of them also have like a little nice history like how cute is that okay let's look at desserts we have fancy pumpkin pie tiramisu and then for main dishes, we have crawfish boils, souffle pancakes, chicken stir fry, pepper pumpkins. Like, what? Look at this. How cute is that? Okay, I need to see this. Like, can we, Irina, please, can you make this for us? Then you can also choose to cook by category. Again, soups, salads, and sandwiches, main dishes, desserts, appetizers. So convenient. Like, so many options to choose from. You can also cook by region. Like, look honestly and a diet healthy lactose free a cold vegetarian that is so 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 nice like it just makes your life as a sim controlling person so much easier but it also adds like a little cute detail that you can explore and like find a recipe you want to cook you know okay are we done with the Ooh, look! oh my god look at that oh, look at those little peppers oh yum okay that looks amazing like you can do that for halloween and literally win an award <laughs> oh i love this so much like look at the details and i think these ones are more of a max's match resolution than some and severinka so you know whatever suits your gameplay you can choose now while we're still in the kitchen i'm going to show you some other some and severinka food and drinks related mods that i have in my game now this is not really a mod it's more of an override to the game because we do have like kettles in the game but they are so ugly i'm so sorry but this override for a kettle by Sonic and severinka is just so like it's a smeg okay like i'll just leave it at that it looks gorgeous on your countertop and it's just so cute like so cute in terms of functionality so you can brew tea and hot water coffee hot cocoa so let's go ahead and boil a kettle first so we can see those other options and look we have a little interactive display here as well and now it's the display is green so that means that the water has boiled and now and now we have these options available so for example she can make hot cocoa hot cocoa with marshmallows hot cocoa with marshmallows and cinnamon so cute like in winter time we can have coffee light roast medium roast dark roast three in one like this fancy one latte kopi luwak like oh i just i love the modders for the sims 4 honestly <laughs> this is just incredible like you can make tea in hot water pitch black world's finest hot water <laughs> it's water except hot nice builder's tea tea with milk healthy green long earl grey hot steamy ginseng uh hibiscus calming chamomile rhubarb. not sure how to pronounce that tea with lemon and 
rose hip, matcha green, and matcha blue. Like you can have matcha. Like literally everything you need for the it girly. And there we go. Let's look at oh my god, look at how cute it is. I actually never made matcha before in the game. Okay, Irina finished her matcha and she got a mood lid. Healthy aura. This tea has great curative effects. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, now another mod by Sonic and Severinka is this shots tray. It's more of a party one, not really a 2 p.m. kind of activity, but I wanted to show you anyway. You can serve drinks in shots, and these are the different options that you can choose from. And these shots have effects in them. Like, okay, just take a look. Let's have shot drinks, shot drink clouds. look at that like this is perfect for your like girls party at your house or you can put it in a bar and have it there like how cute is that and then it also has a new animation because you cannot have shots in your drink but <laughs> but you can with this mod and it also of course gives you a mood lid warm sipping a warm drink can give any moment a nice glow so, okay, let me show you a different one. You can have, let's have um, Lexus. Ooh, cute. It even has a sound effect. So yeah, these are different shots that you can grab. I'm also gonna now Arabica. Okay. And you have an option to grab drink shots with like different people as well, like your friend group and last one is a werewolf okay cute so there you go this is a little mod for shots that you can have in your game for a party or just a night out or night in you know you do you so there you go now we are in the dining area and this is a functional fondue set that you can use i actually downloaded it for my saint moritz gameplay but obviously that was cut short because of unprecedented circumstances that my sims created but you know we're just gonna forget about that but yes this is a functional fondue set that you can use you can probably use it in winter time but you know anytime you want you can grab that so you can make fondue for one or fondue with others so i'm just gonna have arena do it for one so you have bread and cheese chocolate with strawberries or meat and cheese so let's have so let's look at how the strawberries one look like like look at how cute it looks how cute like i wish we had it in the game okay i'm just gonna move it here so you can see it better let's uh join a fondue So she just grabbed the serving of it and again look at the details that is so lovely and then she's gonna eat that as well and as you saw you can have it with cheese or meat just like having a fondue option just so cute and nice honestly i love that all right now moving on to the living room this is a tray a functional drinks tray by sonic and severinka and what it does is basically you can serve any drinks that you want that you have downloaded with this mod and you can serve them so instead of like making one drink at the time which is so time consuming and it's just so much hassle you, you can just use this drinks tray and do it at one go so let's serve some champagne with strawberries that's like my favorite one to serve so your sim will come and just you know by magic of sims serve the drinks and then if you have people around they can just grab one and have a drink and again there's so many options you can have various drinks like different cocktails you can have soft drinks you can have beer cocktails champagne martinis wine you can have eggnog just so many options to explore with your sims like look at this bougie girl having a champagne at 5 p.m i mean she already drank like a few shots but <laughs> but we're just gonna ignore that okay while we're on the drinks though here is another mod that probably most of you will know but i'm gonna mention it anyway because i love it so much this is the functional bar card by rvsn and it's first of all it looks cute and you can decorate it as you want but you can also make drinks here and you don't need to place those bulky sims bars that come with the game you can just have this cute little bar cart that you can plop 
in your living room or in the kitchen where you can serve drinks from. And now I believe the last food and drinks related mod from Zomic and Severinka is a food delivery mod. So this mod allows you to order a delivery of healthy food or snacks for your sim that will come right at your doorstep. You can find this mod on your phone and it will be in the home section. And here you can see you can have a food shop delivery, just a normal delivery or SNS healthy food delivery. So in the food shop delivery, your sim will go on their phone and then you'll have an option to have food delivery from SNS, Sonic and Severinka shop. And these are the options that you have. You can have berry cake, chicken bowl, like all of these different options of food. You can have sushi, like how cute is that? Okay, let's order, you know, actually let's order a vegetable bowl for Irina so she's gonna just call the food shop and place the delivery so it says thank you for using the food shop delivery service SNS someone should be arriving with your order shortly and while we're waiting for that I'm just gonna show you the options for the other food deliveries so healthy food one gives you these options first of all look at how many there are so we have porridges broccoli soup puree you can even have diet food so for example diet packs for each day of the week that your sim can have if you're trying to lose weight in the sims for example dried fruit like so so many different options you can have protein bars that you can put in your inventory and just carry with you for example if you're going to the gym there are protein cookies that you can have and also protein shakes like how cute is that you can also grab smoothies from the shop it's just so cute so the categories here are the balanced nutrition program so this is where you can get your weekly deliveries of the food prep then you can have vegetarian dishes you can have fish dishes meat dishes healthy drinks which are the proteins and smoothies and also snacks that you can grab for your sims and again it adds the realism to the game which we love okay perfect timing to show you the next mod which is the ding and ditch smart doorbell this is basically a mod that adds this little doorbell that you can put in your house like at the front door which will notify you when other sims have come to your house so again this adds the realism of people coming and actually not just knocking on your door but using the doorbell and the amazing option is that it has the id so the face id option so it will tell you who is at your door you can click on it and change the settings you can change the ringtone you can set the light color you can have universal access and enable visual ring so it would just like put a ring on it i don't know if you can really see that but it will like light up and then you can enable motion detection so if anyone is like next to it it will also let you know that someone's like next to your door you can enable or disable ring notification you can also turn it off if, if it bothers you you can also wave at a camera and make funny faces <laughs> you can ding dong ditch with a gag bag or just ding dong ditch which is basically like a mischief option where a person would just sometimes they do do that and it's so annoying honestly the sims will just still ring your bell and just run away which is quite funny and realistic i guess but <laughs> it can get a bit annoying but yes, this is a ding dong ditch smart doorbell. But anyway, we got interrupted because we have our delivery here. Look at that, how cute. They are coming with a little paper bag. We will come out and accept delivery. The samba. Oh, no, he decided to come in. And, oh, to our garage. Okay, um, and put it in our car. Well, thank you, mister. That's very nice of you. But how on earth am I supposed to get it out now? Oh my God. I actually cannot get it out. No way. <laughs> no way. How did he even do that? How did he put it in the car? Look. Okay, okay, God. That was the weirdest thing ever. Okay, we've got me saying thank you for using the food shop delivery service SNS. If you enjoyed my service, please leave me a nice rating. If you didn't, please keep your mouth shut. Okay, thank you for your rude customer service. But anyway, I don't know why you decided to put my delivery into my car. But thanks, I guess. 
So there you go. This is the food delivery. So Irina can come here and open it. Irina has put all of her groceries into the fridge. Whatever doesn't belong in the fridge has gone into her inventory. Okay, there's nothing in the inventory. So it must have gone into the fridge, which is quite useful. Um, let's open it. Yeah, there we go. So here it is. Our little... I think it's a... What, was, what did we order? Vegetable bowl. Okay. Look at that. I'm not even going to say it. Like, you already know the details are going to be on point. The, yes, this is the delivery mods by Somic and Severinka. I think I haven't shown you the last one, which is just the general order delivery. So if you just click on order or delivery, you can just get like different options for groceries. So you can choose. It's like a universal option where you can choose either a food shop delivery a healthy food delivery or a grocery delivery so in the grocery part i didn't show you this one and you can basically have all of these little pantry food that you can order like beer and marshmallows just like so many options for you to choose from and to just like have something else to do in the game and like look at that you can have gift boxes like Ferrero Rocher, frozen berries. Oh, just love it. Love it. Like you can explore this mod. You can look at everything that it comes with. But honestly, if you want a realistic gameplay, this is where you should go. Okay, I believe this is enough of food related mods. Now, the next section I wanted to show you is some of the cleaning mods that I use in the game. So conveniently, our sink has broken. So... <laughs> I'm gonna cheat this and I am just going to repair this object but as you can see the sink is dirty and we have a, a little puddle here so this is the next mod that I wanted to show you not a mod sorry but an override this is an override for a mop so as you can see this is a cute little version of a shark mop that your sim can use I just think it looks so much cuter than the, the default mop that comes with the game and it looks more realistic that she's going to be using, you know, a bougie shark one, at least for my games. But yes, here you go. This is Kiko Vanity Shark Steam Mop Replacement. And now I'm going to show you the other mop replacement that you can have. Now, this is a mop replacement by Vixen Pixels, and they actually have eight different colors that you can pick from. And they're all so cute. Yeah, you can go ahead and download any of them you want to replace that boring mop that comes with the game again on the topic of overrides since our sink is so dirty why don't we polish it to perfection and i'm gonna show you a nice little sponge replacement that you can also have in your game and this is made by apricot rush and you can have your own scrub daddy in the game if you want to they also have different color options that you can pick from. You can have the original yellow one or pink one or black one or white one. Pretty much any color you want, you can have it. And it just looks so much cuter than the one that comes with the game. And again, adds the realism to the game because I personally have a scrub daddy in my kitchen right now so <laughs> it's a must in anyone's kitchen to be honest the next replacement i wanted to share with you is a spray bottle replacement by large tater tots or tay she actually has a whole collection of cleaning supplies replacement for the sims 4 and personally this bottle i just love it so much it's so much more elegant and looks so much better than the original spray bottle that comes with the game. So if you want to check that out, don't forget that I'll have all the links down in the description box. Okay, now another mod that adds to the realism in The Sims 4 is the Change Bed Sheets mod. It's called Brand New Bed Sheets by Lazy Naif. I'm not sure again. I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing this correctly. What this mod allows you to do is actually change the bed sheets and take them and wash them and basically you know just add these chores to your game and to your sims life that they can complete so to do that you just simply go and click on change bed sheets and then your sim will come and sure. grab it and cool. then we can just take it to the hamper and that is perfect that you can see another override that I wanted to share with you. This is Laundry Pile Default Replacement, again by Tay Large Tater Tots. You can override the colors of your dirty laundry as well as the laundry pile bag. You can again make it more cute and aesthetically pleasing with this override. 
And as we're on the topic of laundry, so yeah, that was a combination kind of. I missed the point of the changing bed sheets and the override of the pile mod, but I hope you get it. So one of the mods is the changing bed sheet mod, and the other one is by Large Tater Tots, which is basically recoloring the laundry in your game. And on the topic of laundry, another mod that you might like to add into your game is the laundry service mod by andres and honestly for me personally it has been a lifesaver sometimes i cannot be bothered to like wash and dry everything for my sins and i like they have these mood lists of like oh i have dirty clothes and i want to get rid of it so basically this mod is just so 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 good for that and also it adds the realism because in real life you might use laundry services you know to use this mod you can just click on your hamper and then you have it laundry service and you have three options you have express dry cleaning which is 30 simoleons ordinary dry cleaning which is 20 simoleons and soft care dry cleaning depending i guess on what kind of clothes you want to clean and you know how much money you have to spend so we can do express dry cleaning which i think is going to just take one sim hour and it says hello arena thank you for choosing sun sun laundry service we will return your clothes within one hour so while they do that uh arena actually needs to go and use the <laughs> bathroom so excuse her while she does that and we're waiting for our laundry okay now we got a pop-up saying hello arena your clothes have been carefully cleaned and added to your inventory have fun wearing it and now there you go we have clean laundry within an hour without having to you know go through this whole shenanigans and moving swiftly from that i wanted to show you an override that replaces the way your clean laundry looks in the game and this is laundry override by vixen pixels it's just so cute like there are different options that you can pick from to download i chose this one because it's pastels it's beige and also it has a little Ralph Lauren polo shirt at the top of it like of course i was gonna go for it it's just so cute and it looks so much better than you know those bright red and orange colors that the game gives you so there you go this this is another cute override that i love to have in my game so i think irina is quite tired from all the cleaning that she has just done so i think i'm gonna send her to take a quick nap and i'm gonna show you another replacement or a small mod that you can have in your game for realistic gameplay moving on from the cleaning supplies this is such an amazing mod and it adds to the realism in the game this is a nap replacement mod by beverly all at sims and what it does is it replaces the positions that your sim nap at instead of the boring one where they're just laying on their side and nothing happens you have replacement animations for different naps this is the nap on the sofa and as you can see it's very different from you have with the game and this is how it looks like when your sim is napping on the bed so if you are interested in something like that i recommend that you check out this mod i personally like it because again it adds to the realism in the game and also it's something new to change up how the game looks a little bit now the next mod i wanted to show you is the home stealth pedicure and manicure by mercury foam and honestly it's just wow I can't believe this mod even exists but what it allows you to do is instead of going to the spa or a salon to get your sims nails done you can just do it at home yourself like how amazing is that so you will get this little collection of nail polishes that you can click on and you have option to do home manicure or a home pedicure let's start with the manicure and you can do it either on the floor or on the chair so let's do it on the floor and i think we're gonna go with uh, let's do a round shape nail and let's do it a beige color so then your sim will be seated on the floor like this and they will be doing their own nails how amazing is that that you don't have to travel like every two sim days to a salon to get your nails done and you get these amazing animations with this mod as well this is just beyond cuteness and also very realistic because like I do my nails at home so you know why wouldn't my sim be able to do that and look at that you can see that her nails are done now wait she's checking it out let's see okay love that 
<laughs> I think she likes that too. Now let's do a pedicure. Let's do white nails. Okay, and here's the animation for that. How cute! This is what it looks like when your sim is doing their pedicure at home. And she's done. Oh, oh, okay. She's gonna file them as well. Oh, that is so cute. Now, there you go. That is home pedicure and home manicure done. And again, I think this is such a cute and amazing mod to have in your game. You can even host parties like with the girlies, have your friends over and everyone can do their nails and their pedicure and manicures like that is just so nice and you you can just spin it off the way you want like any way you want to like, look at those nails love that okay let's move on now to another amazing mod and that is functional magazines mod by large tater tots oh my god i love this mod in Tay's own words, this mod allows you to order and read popular magazines from the computer. You have five different magazines to choose from, as you can see on the screen. There's Allure Magazine, Architectural Design, Cosmopolitan, Essence Magazine, and Vogue. But how cute is that? First of all, you can display them around your house the way you want to, but you can also read them. So for example, let me make Irina come here and now Irina is gonna sit and actually read the journal like it doesn't only look good but it also gives you buffs depending on the magazine that they read so they might become like flirty and romantic if they're reading something romantic in the magazine I just think it's so thoughtful to have this and to create a mod like this I love it and I love my sims using it it also again adds the realism to your game and now you can see that Irina got an inspired buff artistic read some books just in inspire creativity if i ask irina to read the vogue and now as you can see irina has become flirty suggestive read someone get irina a fan because this book is turning up the heat so obviously she was reading vogue i think she was reading about tay and don's wedding so obviously that got her into a very flirty mood so there you go that is another amazing mod and uh, I suggest you check it out if you want something new to add to your game that is also functional. Like, I love functional mods that you can add into Sims 4. Uh, and you can see it even has the description. It says Vogue Magazine Vogue Spring Magazine. Issue featuring behind the scenes details of the most anticipated event in Vinderburg. Tay and Don Davis's wedding. Yeah, that's why she got uh flirty like so for example allure says allure magazine's latest issue featuring maddie westbrook on the cover the magazine spotlights rihanna fenty skin and the covet skincare brand of the year along this year's top 300 beauty products like it's just so cute and nice you also can get not only a functional edition but clutter edition so you can decorate your house with it now as you have noticed it's pretty hot today because it's uh first day of summer and we are in Bringleton bay and it's quite i think it's a heat wave today yeah it's really hot so it's the perfect opportunity for me to show you another it's not mod really it's just a object that you can use now this little object that i wanted to show you acts a little bit as a mod this is by sibled or syb and this is a dyson fan which essentially acts like a thermostat in your game again i believe this is perfect for realism purposes because you don't always have to use these um the thermostat for temperature control you can actually turn this on it can act as a fan in hot weather so, so you can just set it as cooler and or you can put it as warmer so it blows like hot air and yeah this is just a cute little thing that you can have in your game for realism purposes it also comes in different swatches so you can pick whatever fits your decor best now another quick small mod slash object that I wanted to share with you is the Aquapura water fountain by Menace Man. As you know, Sims love to go and grab some water from the sink and by having this little water fountain, it adds a bit of realism that some Sims might prefer to get some water from an actual water fountain. So you have an option to add that to your game as well if you want to. And on the topic of small little mods that adds realism to your game, this is the mod that I actually cannot play the game without. This is a steady sit and seat any sim mod by Amelcy. 
And basically, you know how annoying it is when you set all of your sims, especially if it's a big group of them, and then everyone starts getting up and just doing random things. Well, this is specifically a mod to remove that. So basically, you steady sit your sim and they will not move unless you tell them to. So that's perfect for like a sit down situations or when you're in a restaurant and you want certain sims to sit in certain seats so that is just perfect for you and then if you have a large group of friends you can just tell them to sit in any of the places you can also set other sims in here so for example if i invite madeline so now i can show you how this works with other sims so for example here is the option to seat sims here and then you can pick madeline here and then for example irina here and then they will come and sit in their assigned spots so you see Irina is sitting here now and she will not move. She will not sit and do like random things that she wants to. She'll just sit here on this exact seat and Madeline will sit in her assigned spot. I just love this mod. It's a game changer for me. And especially if you're streaming or if you're recording your gameplay, like it can be so annoying when they start doing random stuff. So yeah, here you go one of my favorite mods ever in the game now as uh we have another sim here i can show you another mod that i absolutely love now this is more of a interactions mod and this is a greetings mod by nc40 and what it does it adds options to greet sims so instead of just like saying soul soul and that's it you have all of these options like air kiss cheek bro hug cheerful greeting courteous hand kiss fist bump, friendly wave, funny greetings, handshakes, rude greeting, romantically kiss cheek, kiss hands, kiss cheek, hug lovingly, hug, hip bump, or high five. So, oh, you can also salute as an army salute. So let's have um, air kiss cheek greeting. And I'm gonna show you how that looks like. Now this was the kiss cheek, air kiss. Let me show you some of the other ones. So, for example, a handshake. And again, this adds the realism to your game because you can have separate greetings and, and actually choose which greeting you want to have with uh, like new sims. <laughs> I guess that was the funny, <laughs> funny greeting. So yes, another very cute mod that you can try out in your game. The next mini mod slash objects that I wanted to show you is the music pods. And I absolutely love these. I ha I love to have these around my Sims houses. This is an Apple set HomePod mini by Discombobulated. And it actually works as an Alexa and it looks freaking cute so from here you can well you can yell at it <laughs> you can play trivia muted ask for a joke you can obviously play music you can adjust lighting of the house so for example we can turn on all lights in the house so what is gonna happen is Irina is gonna come in here Irina is gonna ask her to adjust the lighting and there you go all the lights are off okay let's turn them back on now oh and I think her name is Lindsay in here, actually. And okay, let's also, we can also order things from here. So we can order gardening services, a maid, repair service, pizza. Again, such a nice little addition to your house. Like you can have them around in different rooms and it will act like an Alexa in your sim game okay arena what is going on please stop that right now i wanted to show you another mod which is a sunrise alarm clock by lot 51 so with this mod you are actually able to set alarms and it will raise your sims with the alarm you can create an alarm and for example have um, a specific time set for your sims to wake up or you can have a career base so if you're them has work it will it will wake them up before they have to go to work or sunrise base so when the sun comes up okay so what i'm gonna do with this alarm is i'm gonna create an alarm and i'm gonna set this alarm for 7 a.m on the dot 
and there you go you can manage weekly schedule so you can choose on which days of the week you want the alarm to start you can completely customize it so there you go now i'm gonna send arena to sleep because it is 1 30 a.m and i'm gonna meet you guys at 7 a.m when the alarm goes off and now it's 7 a.m and this is how the alarm works so it will start blasting the whole thing and it will obviously wake up your sim and then you're gonna have an option to either snooze the alarm or turn it off so let's just turn it off so again it's such an amazing feature that you can add to your game now that it is morning time i want to show you a few other mods that require us to be in the house this is quite a big mod and it's two mods in one that i'm going to show you the mod that i want to share with you is the functional skincare mod by qmibi and it basically adds a bunch of new skincare that you can actually use on your sim it gives you different moodlets and it gives you new animations it's just so perfect for the realism and also to have this routine with your sim where you can wake up to your skincare and you know have me time in the game as well as in real life and the second part of this mod is also by QMB, which is express delivery mod so awesome honestly i don't know how how modders manage to do these things but thank god for them basically it adds a bunch of shopping apps that you can shop at and have a delivery come to your doorstep so let me show you how this works we will go on to our phone and then go into the shopping icon and then here is the shopping apps and look at how many options you have there is a cvs pharmacy target apple store bike works babies R us toys R us bath and buddy works Chewy Pet Store, Michael's Craft Supplies, Barnes & Noble, Dick's Sporting Goods, Sephora, Best Buy, 1800 Flowers and Home Depot. Like how amazing is that? And you can shop for things that you need from these apps and they will be delivered to you. So again, great to add the realism into your game. But for current purposes of the first mod, which is the functional skincare, we are going to go to uh, Sephora and here are some of the options like look at that how cute so many of them so what we're gonna order is actually a glycolic renewal mask okay bougie let's get a retinol night moisturizer and also a clinique all about clean cleanser so let's get these oh they even have drunk elephant okay let's get drunk elephant whipped cream we are gonna get dove body wash okay i'm getting like um my inner shopaholic is like going crazy we have fenty look we have fenty fat water essence and uh, fenty skin remove it all cleanser let's get these inky list okay so so cute la mer okay i'm definitely getting la mer can't afford it in real life but <laughs> i will definitely buy it in the sims sunday riley tatcha like so cute okay let's get a few of the tatcha ones as well just to show you how it looks like in the game so there we go okay 868 simoleons i think that would be more expensive in real life to be honest so there you go she's placing an order at sephora and our order is processing and will arrive shortly so while we wait for it um irina is just gonna go and grab some breakfast and there we go look at that we have a sephora mailman delivery person here and this is the sephora little box that has arrived for us how cute is this look at the details i love that so once it has been delivered we can go ahead and open the delivery so there you go oh <laughs> look at that she's so cute now we have all these products in our inventory so let's go into the bathroom and i'm gonna show you what it looks like now that is all a very cute look at that this little collection i'm just so in love with this it is so so cute but the best part is about this is that all of these items are functional we can also ask irina to wash her face in the sink and this is the animation that comes with it look how cool that is that is so cute so 
So now you can see that Irina got a mood lit, dry and itchy. I need to put some lotion on ASAP, being as she's not cute and I feel like everyone can see it. And you can even see, like, look at her face. Like, her face has become textured and, like, flaky. That is such great amount of details to add. Like, I cannot believe it. So, okay, sorry, Irina, you're not gonna feel ashy anymore. Okay, she needs a lotion ASAP. So, which one is the lotion? That's a cleanser. Is this a lotion? Okay, let's put a serum on. And there you go. Again, another cute animation for the serum. Oh, why does she look so sad? Girl, it's not that deep. Okay, and she is feeling much better now. Look at that. She has a clean, clear, and under control mood lid. My skin feels so clean and there's not a pimple inside. And again, look at her skin. I'm sorry? Why is she glowing? Why is she glowing? Like, how cute is that? Oh, I love that healthy glow. So yes, these are the two mods that I wanted to show you by Qmibi. I think they're so, so cool. Don't know how they managed to do that, but I am here for it. I support it and I love it. I have it in my game and I don't know what I would do without it. Now that Irina is done with her skincare, I'm actually gonna have Irina take a quick shower to show you a couple of other mods related to self-care. Now this is a towel after shower mod by Scanner. And basically every time your Sims takes a shower or takes a bath, afterwards they were gonna change into a towel instead of jumping right into their clothes, which again adds into the realism of the game because we don't just, you know, start putting on our jeans after we just took a shower. We do put a towel on, we do dry ourselves out. So that is an amazing mod for that. I just love it that I don't have to think about it and right after shower my Sim will automatically put their towel on and then I can go into their wardrobe and pick an outfit that they're gonna wear but after the shower i want irina to dry her hair because it obviously will be wet and to dry her hair she's gonna be using an actual hair dryer that is gonna dry her hair so let's uh, use it now this is what it looks like the animation this is a mod that makes bathroom clutter kits functional by sebzik creation and it's just such a cute addition oh there you go she changed into her outfit good girl so it makes all the bathroom kits from decor in the game become functional so a hair dryer can be used by adults and kids i just think it's so cute that we can have an actual functioning hair dryer in the game now it also comes in different swatches that you can check out if you want to but yeah, these are pretty much the little mods that I wanted to show you that are on the subject of self-care. Now, moving on from that, let's uh, quickly sit down so I don't have to worry about what Irina is doing. But what I wanted to jump into now is some of the apps that I have in my game uh, on the phone. <laughs> so let's... Oh, look, she also got a mood lid. Stylish new hair. There's nothing that a new hairstyle can help girl it's the same hairstyle you just dried your hair but okay whatever makes you happy okay so some of the apps that i wanted to show you in my game i already showed you the shopping apps by qmb but i also have a similar one which is a sim sim store app here you can see it says browse sim sim store and we are gonna go ahead and open the sim sim store this is another mod by andres so as you can see we have all of these options but they are currently locked and that is because we don't yet have a membership so to use this app you need to have a membership there are two options you can have a basic account which is free or a premium account which is 20 simoleons and the difference is with the basic account you can order whatever you want from the app and it will automatically appear in your inventory but only if you're on your home lot if you're somewhere else for example on a vacation or at a friend's house you cannot use it whereas with a premium account you can order it anywhere which makes it so so nice to have in the game because i sometimes i don't want to go into build mode and look through it and you know if i need tampons for example for my sim like just shuffle through all of these objects like trying to find it this has a great interface to quickly find whatever you need to order and i can order it at a vacation i can order it at a friend's house like whatever i need i can do so i'm gonna go ahead and pay the 20 simoleons for a membership 
and now we can have all of these options the amazing thing is is that i can also actually order food from restaurants and it will automatically put everything that i order in my inventory so for example if i'm at a friend's house and i want to do like a cookout but i didn't prepare anything at home i forgot or i didn't have time and i'm already at a friend's house if i start cooking at a friend's house they're going to be like this is so inappropriate please leave like <laughs> so annoying but that's another topic but for example if i cannot be bothered to cook i can just order it right to my inventory so i don't have to wait so for example with stomach and spring mod you have to wait a little bit for the delivery to come whereas this one is absolutely instant that's why i have both of them in the game not only that but you can also order supermarket groceries so these are the different options that you can go through this is the restaurant and gourmet options then you have health wellness and sport so i use it so often when my sim suddenly comes on her period and then i can just you know purchase care product i can also purchase medicine quickly from here without going like on the computer and ordering it from there we have technology and multimedia you have all of these options here if you like don't want to go into build mode and do it there there's also home and family option where again you have different categories and outdoor and vacation hobbies and leisure printed products garden and animals and bonuses and specials so you can explore this mod it's quite big like there's a lot of categories as you can see and options that you can pick from so yeah it's a cute little mod again realistic and also very convenient for the gameplay the next mod i'm going to show you is a bit of a like it's a small mod but it adds so much trauma i personally use it for my gossip sim stories but you can use it for whatever purposes you want like to add a bit of spice into your game add a bit of drama neighborhood drama it's just perfect now that is a sticky drama app by plum lace and basically what it does it's basically like a gossip girl blast but in sims like how amazing is that so let's go ahead and read the sticky drama of the day what plumley says about this mod is it's a simple app that adds a little messy drama to the game you simply open the app on your phone click read sticky drama and you will receive an alert for some tea by an anonymous poster currently there are over 120 different messages you can receive once you read the drama alert so there you go Sticky drama alert, Julia Wright and Becca are actually frenemies and hate each other. Hilarious. So again, that adds the, I guess, realism because, you know, we have gossip everywhere around us all the time. But it also adds a little bit of gossip girl vibes into the game and also drama that you can spin off for storytelling purposes. So yeah, amazing little mod that I highly recommend you get into your game if you want some drama. Moving on from that, I wanted to show you the social activities mod by little miss sam and basically it adds different rabbit hole social activities options that your sim can participate in so we have social activities fun activities others holiday activities and vacations so social activities you can go on a date visit a family member visit friends or visit acquaintances then for fun activities you can go to an art exhibition circus go pray go to a cooking competition read and meet book club museum of technology go to a music concert hiking trip and so on like there's so many of different social activities that you can explore with this mod and even though it's a rabbit hole option it's still quite nice and you can also your soul will also get a moodlet depending on what they did so why don't we have irina go to read and meet the book group with um with madeline so irina is at a social activity you can see a little icon read and meet book club she acquired the writing skill acquired charisma skill which is so useful like you can just send them off to this activity and they will learn skills as well and then she got a mood lit read and meet book group while every book is different the joy of finishing a good one is always welcome like it's just such a cute little mod that you can explore if you want to now the next app that i wanted to show you in the game is a sim the dating app so currently Irina is not actually dating anyone so i think it's a perfect opportunity to, to hear her say yips <laughs> uh, to create a profile and see if anyone catches her eye on the sim the dating app so that is essentially a uh, tinder but for sims and this is a mod by little miss sam and honestly if you like cannot find any townies around you or if you just cannot be bothered to go out and look for them you can just go on this app and find a specific person that you want to be with or for example in the case that you created a townie but 
for the love of God, you cannot manage to meet them at any public lots that you've built and that you go to. You can just go on a date with them on this app. So here are the options that you can have. You can go on a specific date with someone. You can go on a blind date, a female blind date, male blind date, one night stand, enable hookup calls or disable hookup calls. So currently I think they are disabled, but we could enable them. And then I think you're just going to get like hookup calls for your sim to like decline or agree to. But right now I'm just going to show you the specific date option. So your sim will go on the profile, on the sim the dating app create their little account and there you go here are all the options that you have i'm pretty sure these are like all the sims in your game i mean in the save file that you can choose from please tell me why agnes is even in here but anyway so let's see who might catch irina's eye now why don't we go with why don't we go on a date with not Marin. And right away, it will just drop you off on a date location with the sim that you have picked. So we are going on a date now. And why don't we just go to the whale bar? Now, this cute lot was made by Bianca and it's just perfect for Bringleton Bay. Like, look at how cute it is. So it has the little outside area. Where you can sit with your sims and then you have the inside area as well so i think it's more of like a seafood option restaurant but look at that like it's so cute so why don't we request a table wait where is where's our date is that him no where oh here he is okay that is not marin <laughs> and it doesn't look like he's in a good mood but Oh well. And as you can see, the sim, the dating app. Oh, why is she bribing him for a table here? It's not that deep, is it? Or did I make her do that? That was so weird. Okay. So, yeah, this mod basically forces your sims to go on a date with the sims that you chose. And I think it's a very handy and it's also quite realistic because if you're using dating apps, you might as well use them in the sims, you know? So there you go. That is the sim, the dating app that I wanted to show you. Okay, I have just finished uh, Nat and Madeline's date and they came back to Madeline's apartment, of course. And that is because I want to show you some romance mods that i have in my game some of them are my absolute favorites so let's explore those i also cheated their romance just for the sake of showing you these things so let's go together to the bedroom because that's where the fun happens <laughs> oh my god i can't okay so Nat is here he's feeling i think he's feeling sad i don't know why okay so the first mod in the romance section that i wanted to show you is a kiss and grind mod by utopia probably one of my favorite romantic mods in the sims 4 so it gives you these options of drunken kiss intimate kiss intimate slow dance passionate makeout sensual grind and the animations are just impeccable like okay let's let's look at this one let's have intimate slow dance with nat like i'm sorry <laughs> What are these animations? They're so good. No, because I love this so much. Like, oh, and that's just one of them. So again, I'm not going to show you all of them because uh, I do want you to see them for yourself. But these are amazing. Just like, if, honestly, I, I think these animations have convinced you already. Okay, now another mod also by Utopia, and also in the romance section, is Passionate Gifts mod. And here you have an option to gift something to your partner, to your romantic interest. And it also, all of them have different animations. Like how amazing is that? I love that. So you have an option to gift a fancy wristwatch, flowers and chocolate, heart necklace or silver bracelet. So I'm just going to show you one of them and um, you can explore them by yourself if you want to. So let's watch these animations now. Oh, so cute.
Oh my god, I cannot. Such sweet thing to add into the game and like the animations are everything. I don't know how many times I've said animations at this point, but you know what I mean. I'm just very excited about them. Okay, so these are the two mods by Utopia that I wanted to show you. Now, another mod requires our um, two lovebirds, actually, to um, do a quick woohoo. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, let's uh, quickly do that. Now, this is Pillow Talk After Woohoo mod by Shimrod and... Honestly, I love it so much. It actually has a few different animations that could pop up after your Sims woohoo. But it again, it adds the realism to the game that they don't just like get up and go or fall asleep. And it's just a cute thing to have, you know, of them talking and giggling after woohoo and like having a little kiss afterwards that you can see. So yeah, that is a little mod by Shimrod if you want to explore that. And now this is... A bed cuddle mod by the Pancake and Missouri Yuki and it's just such a cute thing like instead of just sleeping separately if your sims have romance together they will like scoot over and start cuddling. Now I think I'm gonna end this video here because it's already over an hour long and I have many more mods to share with you so do let me know if you want to have like a part two of this video or a different topic for the mods that you want to see and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like this video and comment down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very very soon with a new video bye